What's going on, guys? Welcome to it. What is going on? Let's do the roll call real quick. We got Patrice Marie in the chat, Mad Scottish Geck, Serious Lee's Gaming, Dark Lord Zellert, KJ PC Gaming, Jasper Beardley, Melvin Gordon, Frederick H. Crook, Arthur, how you doing, bud? Rolling 106, Aqua Puppy, Vaculars, Satan or Satan, I don't know how to pronounce that, man, but Sire Sit. But welcome to it, man. We got Ash Burrell in the house. What's up, Junt? And uh, what's up, guys? Oh, my goodness. Whew. What is up, guys? And awesome by default. Welcome over on Twitch. Glad to have you. And thank you for the follow. All right, guys. Uh, real quick, uh, while I am at the, the, the beginning of the stream, what I want to do, guys, is uh, go in and acknowledge some awesome channel members because uh we have some uh we have some channel members that's got some new icons tonight so let's go ahead and go through the list guys uh while i got you guys here let's see we have big pitch celebrates his six month channel membership with pink program kjpc gaming truth mechanic the golden gag ivy mike and kibbles now, next month, or in a few more days, we'll have Esh Morel, Bruce Solo, MTG, G&G, &G, Carrie Megan, Storm Norman, Combine 24, Joker Incorporated, and Caroline Kelly will be celebrating their six-month uh, badges, where the badges change a little bit, change over to the uh, A-Class. So, guys, thank you so much for the support you show. Guys, big, big shout-out to all my channel members. And welcome Colin Sheffield and Zodiac Angel as the newest members as of last night and Red 5 by 5 uh, this month. So, guys, thank you. Thank you for what you do, guys. Thank you for what you do. Awesome by default. Awesome, dude. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you. Let's see. What's up, Sub Mega? How you doing, bud? How you doing? Q-Ball Gaming, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Nice, nice. Heck yeah, guys. Super chuffed about that, man. I, I was... I was uh, I, I opened up Streamlabs today and I got a notification because it actually notifies me when people hit anniversaries uh, with the uh, channel membership. And I said, yeah, let's go pull that up and uh, mention it at the beginning of the stream. So super chuffed about that, guys. How is everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday afternoon. Uh, following up the awesome Zane's World stream, uh, very, very happy about that. And guys, if you're not subscribed to Zane's World, check the description in the link in the in the in the channel description below for the link to his channel. Make sure you are subscribed because uh, you're missing out on some awesome content if you're not, guys. All right. Well, we got the intro sorted out. Let's go ahead and kill this music and get in game, guys. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I have been looking forward to some uh, No Man's Sky for for a bit today, so. I've actually been playing some. I've been trying to do some stuff that's kind of safe on borderline safe to where I don't uh, get killed too quick or don't get killed off stream. Finally got a copy of Star Citizen. Started with a 100i. Having a great time. Awesome sauce, dude. Hey, listen. Um, it is a... Uh, let me type it in, let me type that in the, uh, in the uh, restream chat for you. Uh, ba -ba. Give me a second. Underscore SC. There you go. And then we'll go with uh, apostrophe Discord. See if that works. Cool, cool. There you go, bud. Um, awesome by default, man. That That is my username in Star Citizen. If you send me a friend request, next time I log in, I'll see it and be able to accept it. And there is the link to the Sword Discord where... We group up and play some Star Citizen pretty much daily. I will be in Star Citizen tonight after the stream if you guys want to come along and be a part of that uh, of those shenanigans. Uh, as yesterday, I, I actually ended up in jail last night. Uh, I, I ain't going. I ain't going to say. I'm not going to say who got us in trouble, crushed him box. But I, I, you know, that's between him and his own conscience. But. Yeah, I, I got kind of framed for crimes I didn't commit and ended up going to jail while he walked free. So I owe him a grenade in the cockpit. So, yeah, so uh, 
Hey, like I said, I'm not going to name no names. Curse Tim Box. But, you know, he knows who he is. And, and you know, we'll, 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 deal, we'll deal with that and resolve that later. <laughs> What's up, John? How you doing, bud? Awesome sauce, man. Awesome sauce. Oh, snap. You played them in the sky. Me too. Heck yeah, Silver. What's up, dude? What's up, Jasper Beardley? How you doing, man? Oh, what I miss on, uh, let me see what Junk said, if I missed anything. Oh, it's Monday for the awesome people. Ah, I hear you, dude. Heck yeah, thank you for all my Australian followers. Much appreciated. So you play Star Citizen with us, but not No Man's Sky? Yeah, man, I know. It's brutal, dude. Curse Boys accused me of blocking a path first time playing with him. I was literally stuck in a menu. Oh, no, brutal, dude. Brutal. What's up, Melvin? How you doing? Yeah, I, yeah, it's, that's the thing. I like keeping the group kind of small or, yeah, smallish. We normally don't have more than eight or nine people playing, so it's a lot less hectic and a lot less uh, frustrating. Cough, cough, crush the criminal. Cough, cough. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not going to call, we're not going to call, uh, we're not going to call him out by name. Crush him, but, you know, he knows who he is. Nah, it was all in good fun. Really, honestly, the uh, is is kind of, is kind of as a uh, not too difficult as prison is. I, I believe I I was out by the time. I, to be fair, it took it took me like 15, 20 minutes. I was back out, back out in the community, guys. Back out in the community. I was all I was all uh, reformed. All right, guys. Welcome to the Sword No Man's Sky Origins Permadeath live stream, guys. Powered by Petra Bull. They're not a sponsor. I'm just a huge fan. Guys, buy you a case today if you ha don't have any like health issues that'll cause you problems. So, did you say you need a frag grenade place? You know I have experience. That's right, Crush. Well, you took him out the first time, so yeah. I figured out the hard way why big groups are hard to manage. It, it, oh, it's brutal, dude. It's brutal. Uh, cool, cool, cool. All right, guys. All right. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. Let me get me a little Red Bull in me for this. I've been playing a little bit today. Not a lot. Not a lot. I've been playing a little bit today. As you know, guys... Last night we were looking for an explorer before the end of the uh, before the end of the stream, and I thought, "What's up, Zodiac Angel? Welcome, welcome. What is up, everybody? Yo, what's up?" Um, I was looking for an explorer last night. I didn't have a whole lot of funds. I was trying to find one that where we could start building a ship, a more permanent ship that I can upgrade and I won't be so trash in dog fights and uh and I waited in that space station a good hour or so before I had an epiphany y'all remember uh shortly after beyond in the show or no shortly after a uh, synthesis when uh ship scrapping uh became a thing and this awesome, awesome content creator named Ballista Cola uh, was streaming and showing some stuff. I don't know if he was the original discoverer of it, but he was uh, he was the one I picked it up from. Mentioned that upgrading ships to S-Class, they had a guaranteed static bonus ratio so if you upgrade an explorer to s class whatever stats it had anybody in the galaxy could come to that system and upgrade that system's explorer and it would always have the same uh, hyperdrive range bonus um and i was sitting there like i haven't seen an s class of this ship i'm wanting this whole time and i'm like I'll even grab an A-Class and upgrade to an S, because you know, guys, I've been grinding out this Pugnium X-Class to back to Nanites routine for a while now. And, and, and I said, you know, I do know where a ship is. It's not quite the color scheme I wanted to go with, 
But I do know where an awesome sword class explorer is that when upgraded to an S class produces a 180.3 hyperdrive range, which means it's a 79.3 hyperdrive bonus, which mathematically is pretty much a hundred or pretty much a hundred or eighty percenter. You're looking at the difference between maxed out, tricked out uh, hyperdrive being within 30 to 40 at best. So, I so see. You know what? Let's let's just go do it. Let's just go do it. So, basically, I present to you the foe of madness, guys. Granted, I'd only been playing like an hour before this epiphany fell upon me. And I said, you know what? I played two hours today. Two and a half, something like that. So what did I do with myself in this bright, shiny, new 180.3 hyperdrive, base hyperdrive, Explore for an hour and a half? Well, I'm going to tell you what I did, guys. Um... I upgraded some hyperdrives and rolled out some tech. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, before I get this thing fully kitted, this thing is this thing has three thousand forty-seven point seven light year range. So we can stretch our legs out there, guys. So I am pretty chuffed about that. Tonight, what we're going to be doing on stream tonight, what we're going to be doing on stream, guys, is I need to go do manufacturing facilities. Very very badly so we're going to just hop we're just going to hop high economy systems one thing i will do is we're going to jump this region and go somewhere out out of this region because i do have massive massive range on the hyper you know what i didn't do the one upgrade i didn't put in this thing oh my we need to sort this out real fast and in a hurry let's get this economy scanner in Cool. And I do not have enough microprocessors. I'm glad I thought. I'm glad I seen that before I got too far away from this. Oh, I wasn't at the space station. Okay. Cool. So that's what we're doing tonight, guys. Y'all thought I was gonna be laying some bad news on y'all or something, didn't you? I had y'all worried. I had y'all worried. Y'all, y'all can, y'all can, y'all can admit it. I had y'all worried. Y'all thought I was y'all thought I was quitting YouTube or something. Like it looks like the minivan of explorers, dude. I love I love this style. Very nice explorer sword, especially the hyperdrive range. Well, I will tell you what, guys. Let's pause it here because this is permadeath. Seeing that you guys like that hyperdrive range, what I will do is I'm gonna share my secret location. With, with all of you cool cats in the chat. Let me find it. Uh, pictures. Uh, no, it's got ships. There it is. Cool. And this was a discovery. Honestly, I pulled it off the coordinates exchange. It's one of my old... It's one of my old... Um, old uh, ship locations that I've gotten from the coordinate exchange. Have no clue who found this thing. Raw19, how you doing? Welcome to it over on Twitch. Awesome. So, heck yeah, I was, no worry. Hey, you get better at it the more you play. Well, listen, what is up, KJPC Gaming? Welcome to it, dear. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Zaino, for the raid, buddy. Jump range of freighters now. It's not as sexy as jumping in a ship. True, true. But listen, guys, if you want to go get this ship, it's available in this system. Uh, I recommend grabbing a, you don't, don't get the S class, grab an A class, use 50,000 nanites and upgrade it. Um, you'll get the guaranteed 180.3 on the hyperdrive range. Seriously, he's gaming over with the Zane raid. Is there a way to tell what the percent bonus stats are on the perspective ship? Or you just have to know what the results look like for the ship type to determine the bonuses. What I, what I did Aqua Puppy is I upgraded a bunch of explorers to uh, S class using nanites, and just if it wasn't the stats that I was looking for, I just reloaded my save. It took we done it on stream one night, and it took about all night, but this one ended up a one eighty point three. 
I'm a fan of Slave Cop Pit with the Giant Cylinders. Ah, here you. Heck yeah, Silver. What is up, Mad Scottish Geck? Bitterbeck, welcome to it, bud. Welcome, welcome. Ask him that aqua, but he's always says 180. Oh, uh, bu -bu -bu. we got Beeble Bum. What's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Christie's Beach, how you doing? Tegan Coyer, how you doing? Welcome to it. Mary Lizzie, welcome. Holla, dear. Let's see, Vangelis 2019, what is up? Welcome to it. We got Hi Bensu Basa, how you doing? Welcome to it. Nathan Ritchie, how you doing, bud? Welcome, welcome, Dark Lord Zarek, Typo 148. What is up, guys? Hey, sir, for no worries, anytime. And I had that covered up. Sorry, guys. Let me see. Let me pull up, uh, minimize that and see who that was. That was a Starcast for the follow. Thank you, but or the Starcast. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome over on Twitch, bud. Cool, cool. Let's get full screen on that again. But yeah, guys, if you want to get this, you go here. Pick you out an A class. It costs fifty thousand nanites to upgrade it to S class, but it's a guaranteed one eighty point three uh, base hyperdrive, and you can get some really good light year range out of it. Now, if that's done, let me go back over here and switch it back over to uh, game capture. Thank you. Back. Ooh, let's see what we got here. Psycho Gray, the shirt Shaman Queen. Welcome to it. Glad to have you. Nice. Is 180 max hyperdrive range? No, 181 is the max. Basically, you add one, you add one and subtract a hundred. So, if it's or if you, you subtract 101 from the from the uh, base hyperdrive, and that's what the what the bonus is. It's got the X-wing style. That, yeah, I know. I like the X-wings, man. Uh, reload also fixes some memory bugs. Cool, cool. Mount Mountainers DZ, welcome to it. Thank you for coming over to the Zane Raid. What is up, Zaneru? Sorry about the lateness. Had to reset. No worries, dude. No worries. Anytime, man. Anytime, man. Hey, thank you for sending the raid over, man. Awesome sauce. Guys, round of applause. Big 07 for Zane's World. The world famous Zane's World. And guys, like I said, if you're not subscribed to Zane, you need to go sub to him right now because you're missing some awesome content. Awesome. What's up, Psycho? How you doing? Uh, back lurking at work for me. No worries, Vangelis. Be careful. Don't get another, uh, don't have another, uh, parla parliament rule added because you got caught, bud. So, heck yeah, dude. Thank you for your lurk, bud. Thank you for your lurk. I think there's different depending on class bonus. I haven't been able to figure out my own. There's a full rating, but I don't understand how it translates to max. Uh, what do you mean how it translates to max? Thank you for the follow or subscribing uh, or following. Uh, Psycho Gray, Shaman Queen, welcome to it. I figure out max base core damage for S Fighter. Uh, S Class Fighter should always be 59%, anywhere between 59 and 60. What's up, Warcrown? How you doing, bud? Welcome, welcome. And the damage has been janky since, uh, good grief, uh, Beyond, maybe next. It is never give true numbers, but I throw positrons on everything, so really it's like shoot, shoot, they're dead. Uh, what is up, Warcrown? How you doing? Lionheart White Mane, welcome to it, bud. Glad to have you. Thank you for subbing. Awesome sauce, guys. Who is the same person? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I mentioned in Cola's stream yesterday uh, morning, uh, who's this Zane's World new while I have my Zane's World shirt on? <laughs> Oh, let's see. He's again, I did Christy for the beard. Yeah, for the fear of the beard. Yeah, that's right. Last time I was really into No Man's Sky, I just set up and activated Indian Farm. Then they nerfed it. Oh no, brutal. Well, it's not too bad a nerf. It's just got um, what is it? Uh, limited returns. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be as easy as subtracting 101. No, yeah, true, true. It's like 250 level. Ooh, nice. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Zodiac. Yep. Throw out those emojis. I love it. Never uh, never seen Zane called, called Zynga. I have no clue what the hell you're talking about. If I got it spelt wrong somewhere, let me know. Or if not, I just I can't I ain't, I can't figure I'm reading chat too fast. Uh Christy. Uh, 
I don't want Christy to think. He sings a lot. Yeah, he's, he's that guy that sings a lot. Uh, Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. Nice, Mary. That, sound, that actually sounds pretty good. They have the rewards from original. Nice, nice. That cloak caption on. Oh, got you, got you. Uh, well, you know, my southern accent and closed captioning does not correlate very well. Different circles, whoever is saying do those swish faces. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nerf, they can be bypassed, fortunately. Ah, oh, got you, got you. Cool, sarcasm. What's up, Graw? How you doing, bud? Welcome, welcome. So would you rather watch... Would you rather watch on Twitch or YouTube? Which helps you more? Uh, YouTube helps me the most because I'm monetized on YouTube. But uh, to be fair, it's whatever is convenient for you guys. I know I don't have the chats integrated, so y'all don't see a lot of the YouTube um, YouTube comments on Twitch. So if you guys want to come uh, hang out, some, I would say it's more interactive because you got more people chatting with you in uh, in YouTube than Twitch. But either one. Uh, to be fair, Twitch is kind of Twitch is my fallback plan. The follows are greatly appreciated, and the view times are greatly appreciated. But it's it's always been my fall fallback plan in case uh, YouTube decides to, you know, you know, uh, go off the deep end again, and uh, and uh, you know, I can't stream here or something. That that's always in the back of every YouTuber's mind. Uh, you know, how long is this? How long is this platform going to last before they just ban everybody? Uh, let's see, I hear Zayn was like the second best No Man's Sky streamer. Oh, dude, I know, right? No, I told him I was gonna have to change my channel tags to second best No Man's Sky streamer, man. <laughs> How do you pronounce Zayn without the E? Ah, good question. Some guy will take what they can get, I suppose. That's right, that's right. I mean, should be an E. <laughs> All right, let's get in this thing. Proudly second best, I know, right? This is smart combo, man. Now, um, me and, I don't know, most, some of you guys might not know, me and Zane are, are like, friends, like, good buddies, and we chatted a lot, like, off stream, like, in Discord stuff, and we were going through, back when we both started hitting the SEO, ranking and scoring and stuff really like really focusing in on it trying to get a trying to you know trying to do something with our channels and and we were chatting and i and i had this i had this idea of like putting in the best no man's or the best nms streamer in my channel tags and he's like and and he he was like well that seems kind of arrogant you know and i thought i was like well let me ask you this if you wanted to know who the best No Man's Sky streamer was, how would you how would you type that into the Google search algorithm? And and basically it 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 started out as a joke, uh, cutting up because like basically the way the algorithm works, like when I'm live and he hasn't streamed that day, like on Wednesday night when I stream and he doesn't stream on the main channel. Well, when he didn't stream on the main channel. I would get a higher ranking with that tag. So I would always take a screenshot of the YouTube search page uh, in Incognito of when when I searched um, the best No Man's Sky streamer and I showed up on top. And I'd always take a screenshot of it and message, message it to him and say, ha ha sucker. And he would just return the favor a couple days later after he streamed because basically uh, the closer to the actual live stream you search it, the higher you normally end up in the in the SEO stuff. Like two days after one of my streams, my SEO is trash. But the day of and the day after, it's pretty high up in the search. So, but yeah, it, it, it's it's it was a it's it's just a running joke of us. We've actually I've actually got comments. I don't know if he's has as much, but i've actually had people make comment of uh of me being kind of arrogant because i put that in my channel tag so oh well they'll they'll live i don't want to crush too many people's precious feelings i know the world is tough all right zane is a professor in no man's sky heck yeah friend of the competition oh i know dude it's it's fun it, i mean it's really fun but then like you know then you have this listen guys i don't I honestly don't think Zane will mind 
Well, I don't. Do, I'll tell you what, Zane, Zane, you're in the chat, but do you mind telling, do you mind me telling them about the conversation we had about subscribers a couple days ago? It's, to me, I'm taking it as funny, but I want to make sure you're cool with it before I reveal, like, privileged information. Or not privileged, but, you know, behind the scenes stuff. Need to stream off? Oh, heck no. <laughs> oh, man. Quite the comparison. <laughs> Oh, my first joy. I was like, where now? I see cool. YouTube is the main competitor of Twitch, to be honest. I see Twitch is for early, earlier than YouTube. I, I don't know. I doubt it. 10 percent men will comment are awful, worth ignoring. Yeah, I know, right, dude. Uh, suck. You need a stream. Yeah, dude, I hear you. Uh, YouTube not co cooperate really. Never. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube's. Yeah, it, it's got some. It's, I'm I'm grateful for it because Timber City, you forgot her name. I you do. I'm grateful for YouTube because it did provide a platform for me to be able to uh, build a community um, around this game. And and I know most YouTubers feel the same way. It doesn't matter if your community's 10 people. It doesn't matter if your community's 20 people. Uh, but it's still your community. Yeah, people come come subscribe to your channel and come to watch your live stream stuff like that. And it's it's great interaction. I love live streaming. Uh, so I'm grateful for YouTube for providing that environment to make this possible. Um, but I I really they they do some stuff that's like walking through a uh, field of rakes. I don't know why they do it half the time. But hey, it's not it's not my company. Not for me to judge. To be honest, not certain what you plan to divulge. If it's just my news, so I'm not sure. Yeah, so basically, basically the reason I want to change, hey, I, I, I take that as an okay. So basically the reason I want to change my tags to second best, second best No Man's Sky streamer is like me and Zane will, will talk about you know, our channel stuff and, and what's working and what uh, what's working for me or what's working for him and, and just spitball ideas and stuff every now and again. I mean, it's... it's Used to be a lot, you know. We do it, do it when we get time to, to talk and stuff. Well, basically, basically, I streamed Wednesday the night of Origins drop, and I'm gonna tell you what I was I was on a, a high on Thursday. Man, you could not. You couldn't have shot me out of the sky with a rifle. I was I was just. I was ecstatic. I, one of the, the best, most viewed live stream ever done on this channel was that Wednesday, and I was so chuffed. I picked up a, I picked up a bunch of subscribers over the next few days, and me and Zane were talking. I'm like, yeah, man, Origins release was awesome, dude. I got all these views, man. I picked up, I picked up this many subscribers, and then I, and then I made the mistake. I made the mistake of telling him how many subscribers I picked up in the last month. I told him how many subscribers I picked up in the last month. Now, granted, I want y'all to understand, Zane's a much bigger channel than me, and he, he gets a lot of... He does a lot more work on his channel. So this is, this is jokingly begrudged. But basically, I tell him how many subscribers I picked up... Uh, over the month and I'm like I'm chest all puffed up I'm proud of it I'm all excited and and, and it wasn't like rubbing it in kind of telling him I was just like guess what in this calm in this calm brummy British accent and this might not be his exact words but this is how I heard it well that's nice bud I picked up and the number he said was about twice as many as I said, and he finished it out with today. I'm like, all right, we're done here. I'm done. We're not talking anymore. I'm done. <laughs> so basically, he picked up. He picked up in a day what I picked up in a month, and, and I was all excited. So you can imagine the 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 um, the excitement and and the and the, and the good mood that he's in <laughs> this month. <laughs> But yeah, that's the kind of conversations, you know, after a while you just quit having because uh, 
I, you, you walk around feeling kind of kind of emasculated and insecure. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but it's still funny. Sorry guys, sorry. I, I know I kind of got off on a tangent on that one. I, it might have been one of them. You had to be there kind of things or something. But yeah, that 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 was like, man, I had I, I he did, he just he just rained on my parade, popped my little balloon, and just you know took my basketball and went on home. <laughs> There's John Howard to say, Ray, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh, my. But, yeah. <laughs> High highs, lowest lows. Yeah. It was like, and the bad thing is, man, it was like maybe 15 seconds before he said that after I told him. <laughs> it was like, you couldn't let me carry that around for another 20 seconds, could you, buddy? <laughs> Oh god, man! It, like I said, the just some of the conversation we have are priceless. But uh, it went kind of like that, but I don't remember saying it to Christian Dreams. I know you didn't see, and that's the thing about it. He was oblivious to how it came out. No, seriously, dude. No, I'm joking. I that that no kidding. I'm joking. To be fair, man, if. I, I want y'all to understand this and want you to understand um, uh, where I come from on this. Zane, I know there's a lot of channels out there. I know there's a lot of channels out there that cover a whole plethora of, and I said plethora, correct? Um, in the right context. <laughs> there's a whole gaggle of No Man's Sky content creators out there that cover a plethora of topics. But I'm going to tell you right now, I have never, and I know a lot of them, that I can say this very confidently. I know a lot of them. And Zane puts more effort, more work, and, try, and tries harder to put out top quality, top shelf content than any of my own. And I'll tell you what, he deserves five times the subs he's got and uh and i'm gonna tell you what if anything anything y'all guys can do to help add to that or contribute to growing that channel by liking sharing tweeting out his content you guys need to get on get on that because uh i'm gonna tell you what man i'm gonna tell you what he puts out some good content i've learned a lot from that guy and on top of that he's cool to boot so. all right different standards is all like middle class person being happy when hit hundred thousand bro yeah, no, right, awesome. <laughs> uh, do they have 40? No, seriously. Uh, he's just keeping you grounded. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. I, every now and again, you need that. That's the best part. It's not malicious. It's just it's a drag still crushes. <laughs> Jason K, dude, thank you for subscribing, man. Welcome to the channel. I mean, it's sort of a friend banter relation. Oh, dude, yeah, heck yeah, man. Yeah, oh, man. It's, it's hilarious. Plethora. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> anytime, dude. Anytime, dude. You say about this sword, YouTube, whatever spells Zane's name right in closed caption, but it will spell sword right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's been a bad season. Zane's some minimum of late. It's really cool. Oh, dude. I know, man. And big grats. Uh, congratulations to Beeble Bum, man. He busted 2K subscribers this week. I'm super chuffed about that, man. Congratulations, my friend. What's the real job today? Economy is changing more. Yeah, I know, right? Zane's been here in debt and this effort. For some stuff like explanation or detail. I'm telling you what, man. He, he does a lot of work, man. He does a lot of work. Boggy Planet. All right, we're going to be looking around for... Need to find a uh, desert cactus planet. This kind of a well, soft phosphorus plant might work. Definitely a real job. Oh heck yeah, man! Well, what he does is real. What I do is like a hobby. <laughs> he just served me really. <laughs> True, but he was so in debt early. I had to watch this video twice. Well, see, see, 
we all have these little methods and tricks to um, to make our channels grow better. I have a method of trick. I bore y'all guys to sleep, so my average view time is huge. Like out within, like if you guys don't click off within the first half hour, forty five minutes, you start getting a little sleepy eyed, and I start talking a little quieter. I get a little bit. Hey guys, that's cool. We're gonna go over and do this. We're gonna do that. You know, you guys start getting a little drowsy, especially later in the afternoon, and you nod right on off, and you watch the stream. You watch the stream until it's done. And it, and it just really helps my average view time. Now Zane, what he does with his videos is he makes them so in depth you gotta watch them four times to get everything out of them. So he gets he, he knows how to multiply his views by making it really really deep. <laughs> uh, sword me sword only needs to turn up. Pass me this up. Nice Dark Lord. Heck yeah, dude. Whoa, that ain't where I was going. Let's turn this boat around. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Crask Indy Off, Sword Beeps, KJ Zane, all well deserved. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Good job, something you do professionally. What Zane does is professional. That's right. Not refining tables, all things for surgical. That's all you need to know. <laughs> heck yeah. What's up, Nathan Ritchie? How you doing? Unicorn poop, how you doing, hi everyone? Don't mind me, I'm just here to lurk. No worries, lurk away, my friend, lurk away. Heck yeah, definitely guys, definitely. Let's see, we're sort of show you his ley line trick, yeah. Well, that's what, that's what we're getting ready to do now, is work on ley lines. All right, you see that selenium underneath us that I just flew over? I think it was selenium, I didn't. Yeah, there's a red pawn in here, so I could be all, there we go. Ooh, ancient ruin and a crash freighter and a tr my god, this is gonna be a nice, nice little uh, stop here, guys. Psy economy, let's go check the multitude. Many of Zane's guys are basically encyclopedias. I've watched some of them five or six times. Oh, I know, dude. I, I'm gonna tell you, man, in Atlas Rises, he done a, a, a farming master class. And I watched, I bet y'all watched that farming master class at least a dozen times. But there's a lot, there was a lot of great information in there. And uh, if applied correctly, made some very epic farms. Which, to be fair, that's where I got a lot of notoriety with the community with, was having these awesome mega farms. To, you know, <laughs> Cause I, I, had a, I had more time, I had a whole lot more time than, than, uh, than most people did when it come to uh, uh, gaming and building farms at the time, so. Cool, cool. Let's do. I like it. Man, I'll tell you what, man. The lights, the lighting in this in this game, this uh, desolation, is just freaking amazing. All right. So basically, we had three waypoints right there below us. So we're gonna go north uh, because it's easier to follow that northern northern uh, marker or the sa southern marker. Either way, what you wanna do? Is scan. And you scan, keep scanning all the time. Like every time that scanner recharges, you want to wait till like you see that patch of selenium. You always want to wait till you get past the selenium to scan, because that's actually a. Uh, I don't know if it registers at a way as a waypoint, but it's part of the ley line. But if you follow the trails that these that the that the planet lays out for you with the uh, native plants and the buildings and such. You'll run across a bunch of a, uh, a bunch of stuff that you're looking for. Like right there is a uh, supply depot. Let's go ahead and knock that out. I got the Positron. We're not gonna be landing anytime soon. Looky there, man. The gold thermics condensate. Nice, nice. So let's go back to the north. And there we go. We got frat dust. Oh man, Crash Freighter almost flew through it before I seen it. All right, here we go. We have an observatory here. I'm gonna skip it up. I am looking for manufacturing facilities and trade terminals tonight. Yeah, or uh, not trade terminals, um, transmission towers. Those are the agenda items I'm looking for. Holy smokes, what's going on here? Ekman, thank you, awesome sauce. 
My bill on Zane's business of brought me to the building Indian farm. Nice. Saying got the phone will come and change it. Heck yeah. Hashtag frigate. Oh, must posture frigate. No, virtual is for jobs too. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, chat. Missing. Cool, cool. Dark Lord's awesome frigate guide. Heck yeah. Uh, fastest mod in the West. That's right. That's right. I'm telling you, man, she is amazing. Often imitated, but never duplicated. That's that KJPC gaming right there. Oh, let's go check out the multi tool before we go get this uh, crash ship location. Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? I don't know, but it kind of beat up. Alright, cool. Let's go up here and do the crash, crash the ship. Makes me pay for it. What is up, Wolfie the Noob? How you doing, dear? Hey, sword. Hello, chat. Popping in and say hello. Why, grind? Man, that's awesome sauce. Glad to have you. All right, 99, 92, 86, 81. That is going to be, let's see, that was a minus five, so it'd be minus four, be 77. Oh. Heck yeah, guys. What did we end up with? Come on, crash ship. Let it be something cool. One bad thing is this thing is way past the, way off uh, past the uh, space station. So this is going to be brutal having to run back and forth. Definitely going to have to upgrade the pulse drive soon. But I need the, uh, I need the uh, storage slots, so it's a necessity tonight. How far away is this thing? 13 minutes. Here's another little trick too, guys. You see how the selenium's in a ley line heading to this distress beacon? Though it's not in a, any any common direction, like north, south, east, or west. This is actually runs a ley line as well. So they're not always north and south. They're just more common north and south. And looky there. Waypoint, waypoint. So it might be worth it to get this uh, crash ship location and just follow along. And follow along towards the marker and keep an eye out for, uh, for one for other crash ships and also uh, whatever marker you're looking for like transmission tires or um, manufacturing facilities because we're needing manufacturing facilities like water right now. Definitely grinding in that so we'll be cool. Should be some animal cool getting those upgraded this class style. I tell you what, if you got units, Wolfie, um I'm gonna tell you what, the absolute best way for nanites right now until they nerf it is to buy pugnium, buy X class upgrades, and then sell the X class upgrades back to the vendor. Ooh, look here. That's a big, big uh, archive building. Uh, sell them back to the vendor for nanites. I'm like 10 hours in on this save and I already had, I was up to like 80, 80,000 nanites before I quit doing it. Super, super quick way. Yeah, y'all see all that selenium underneath me. I said, make sure you have something with a wide field of view so you can see what's underneath you. Now, console players might have a little bit more trouble with this than PC players. I have a 
really good draw distance on most of the structure that comes up on the uh, planet surface. But I do know P some PS4s and Xboxes have a little bit uh, slower rendering time for the uh, buildings. So. so this may not work as well for you guys as it does for me. Green, so what is up, Philip? Bo? how you doing? Man, to rinse that. Heck yeah, Wolfie. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. Buying, grinding, putting him in is not gold mine. Nice, nice. A class. Commander Damn Dwarf. How you doing? Welcome to it, man. I get a gig every time I say that name. I love it, man. Awesome sauce. Welcome over to Twitch, man. Checking in quickly for going to bed. No worries. Fill the boat, man. Hey, sleep well, my friend. Have a great night. Tell you what, man. I'm across a lot of these miners, so really can't wait to see this on the PS5. Oh, no. I know, dude. I know. I think it's going to be amazing. Let's see, for VR players, I do zigzags over to do zigzags over to ley lines and rolling my ship so I can see below me easier. Yeah, true, true. I like exploring mine or scrappy ships, Wolfie, just since I mainly love to wander around the plants. Hanging in this class of minor settlements will get you a lot too by interacting with nanites. I think it's cool. I did nanites the other way around by destroying cheap AS class ships for upgrade modules. Yep, yep. Well, I used to do the, um, oh man. Moment of silence for the double spawn exotic system, guys. Have a moment of silence for the double spawn exotic system. It is no more. Or no more on PC. I was there earlier today. Done seven reloads. And I was there doing all my tech rolling today. And, um... And, uh... And, yeah. It, it, that, that system's dead, guys. No more double, double first wave exotics. All right, Beeble Bum, man, have a good night. Sorry I missed your comment. Let me, uh, let me pause and catch this chat up, guys, because uh, I missed some comments here. All right, I need to go. Might be back for a bit. No worries, dude. Uh, got to call it a night. Have a good stream. No worries, Tegan. Have a great night. Sleep well, friend. Destroying ships has also become a favorite, too. Heck, yeah, nice, nice. Good night, guys. Uh, what are you up to, Sword? I am, uh... Looking for manufacturing facilities because I need uh, blueprints so I can start working on building a farm. Like spinning my units on Pugnum and buy the X-Class modules. Yep. I'm going to look there is a video that looks like a spawn system. It's great for both money and nanites. Cool, cool. All right. I just posted. Yeah, the one that uh, the one I used to go to that uh, JW sent me. Yeah, that's that one's gone, man. No more double exotics. gone or just the one you just the one i went to silver it doesn't mean all of them are gone it just means the one i was going to is is no longer there was a new system found with dual, dual exotic nice mick oz heck yeah listen if any of you guys have a tested and working double exotic spawn system dm the coordinates to me on discord because that is an integral part of most of my playthroughs and it will definitely definitely suffer the suffer me um will suffer greatly until uh until i get a replacement for that system because uh man that that was sad days today the heck the band okay that looked like a, a minor sediment for a second and i was waiting on the pad to pop out of the ground like the building did There was a troll on PS4, that system where you found a quagmire plant. Oh, no, brutal. Yeah, I heard about that, man. We we sent the raid over from Petri, or to Patrick's last night for his birthday stream. And somebody somebody jumped on the uh, PS4 version and, and uh, fragged him on the live stream, which kind of sucks. I mean, I don't know, man. If, granted, you know, you're going to have that any game and most any communities i didn't think it's not that prevalent in no man's sky community so but yeah that, that was still 
it was still pretty uh pretty dirty but i did hear that a uh, dark lord uh exacted revenge so. yeah that that yeah that sucks and to be fair guys in case y'all ever wonder because somebody made a comment earlier about it um somebody made a comment earlier about it stuff like that is why i never do why i don't ever turn on multiplayer what i mean one because i'm in chat and i don't do a lot of multiplayer on the stream because it's it's hard to keep up with the chat and a, a group of people playing together um but also because you'll you'll run across people like that that'll come try to kill you think it's a bug you think it's international ship spawning it's not good for me at the moment even on short runway stations oh it's it's the whole system dude uh ba, ba, ba. actually i'm sort about it when it was happening there yeah the devil orange guppies are the best they give hyperdrive pulse to engine modules i'm going to get check it out now nice silver hey let me know if uh if it's working if you have a working sis or working a a, a double exotic system guys and that goes out to everybody DM me on the Discord, um, or at me in one of the live chat, or at me in one of the uh, Discord chats, and I'll see it. But I, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. See, this one don't have a uh, damaged equipment here. Uh, I saw some people quit out and I assume lose their progress. I don't know what happened. Oh, one time someone built a base around me and a group of people during a community event and locked us all in. I found a way to get out by reporting the base in the build menu. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm telling you, man. People... <sighs> That's unfortunate because I can imagine the game mechanics that they could add to this game if they weren't like trolls out there. But yeah. That that's unfortunate. But like I said, that's why I do most of my stuff in multiplayer off. Because it's just it ain't really ain't worth the hassle. I've only had I've been really, really fortunate not to have but uh but one like one kind of troll. But that was enough for me. That was enough. That was enough for me to realize it just wasn't worth the hassle. Plus, that I ended up deleting that stream because I got so mad I lost my composure and like said some stuff I normally wouldn't say on stream. In case y'all are wondering if there was any video evidence of that interaction. <laughs> there was a handful of people watching that stream and they know what went down so <laughs> people be prick shrug yeah true true if you were there five minutes if you were there five minutes earlier at least you had your pants on for a change oh uh, at least the only people join my game are in the new man's no man's got friends list like when he surprised me one night when i was in huddles or headless oh god uh it's also people quit out and oh gotcha gotcha uh, I'm very pleased that HG lets anyone who has your friend code just join your game at any time, regardless of your settings, forcing you into multiplayer. Uh, if you turn your multiplayer completely off, it shouldn't happen, uh, Junt. Or, I mean, uh, seriously. I'm pretty sure, because I... Which, well, again, I haven't really shared my friend code out with everybody that often either, so... I don't know. I mean, honestly, I never had anybody join in that I didn't uh, it, that I didn't have that set correctly for. When I entered the system, all I can say is trolls have it worse than the gag. Yeah, I know, right? No mer less mercy for the trolls than there is for the gag, man. Dark Lord is on the job, man. And heck yeah, dude. Awesome, awesome exacting of revenge, buddy. Uh, not true. I don't know, man. I had never had that problem. 
But don't get me wrong, like I said, I don't do multiplayer enough to be able to change setting to invite only and it takes that feature away. Uh, yeah, I drop in on people and vice versa without warning, kind of need some sort of alert pop up when someone is joining. I thought it posted up in the, uh, uh, over next to the, uh, comments uh, box on the left side of the screen when somebody joins your lobby. I mean, I could be wrong. Like, like I said, guys, I don't play enough multiplayer to know. So. I mean, it's like practically zero <laughs> multiplayer. Lloyd Handyside, how you doing, bud? Welcome to it. How does No Man's Sky play in VR? If anyone here has tried it out, Dark Lord's huge on the VR, and there's a couple other players in the chat there that love the VR. I think Silver Serret, maybe? And, uh... Heck, yeah. I, I don't have the, uh... My body is not built for VR, so I don't do well in VR game. I don't do well in No Man's Sky VR. I got I got extremely sick for two days on the last long session I played. Oh, look you here. Crashed holler. And there's nobody sitting here. And this isn't even the waypoint. I just caught this, guys. I'm the VR master. Hey, yeah, dude. What do we got? We have a C class. Cool. Excellent VR. Everything is big. Nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I have your friend code added to my list. I can see whether, whenever, whenever you're on and can enjoy regardless of your say. Oh, really, John? Huh. Yeah, they need to fix that. They really need to fix that. Darn Park, Pidge, and Patrick were four and one. And record for every nice, Wolfie. Heck, yeah. That's me. Cool. I'm doing it good, too. Thanks. Nice, Lloyd. Nice, Lloyd. I'll put it this way, I bought a second headset just in case something happens and I can't play. Oh my god, brutal dude. That that's uh that's pretty good, man. Cool. Uh top captain to bang captain DC. What's up, Merc? How you doing, bud? I no clue on sword friend code. I've never seen him, otherwise I'll probably drop in someday. There you go. Well, Silver, that's recommend. That's recommend. Ever heard one? Got two questions. Second on the way. Some bits and pieces. We got two. A uh, quest two on the way, and some bits and pieces to make wireless weird streaming a bit easier. Nice. One thing I can say was VR is to be dedicated in playing VR. There is no pause. Yeah, true. I would imagine when we get phase beam upgrades, I don't need cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take this one to scrap it. It's a B class holler. It'll be worth some loot. All right, cool and clean. There we go. Let's get in and fix it. Right. Oh, I need. Ooh, I need. Forgot just what? I got some of the starship. Don't I don't know. I got some of this starship. Uh, I don't have enough, do I? No, I don't. Okay. What are we gonna do here? Let's go collect some crowd dust, guys. Show y'all the quick way of doing this. If it still works. Hopefully, is that marker going to show? No, it won't, so I can't, I can't get too far away from this. All right. Let's find a good for this. A little bit of crowd dust. My ferret tractor, guys. What? The ship's already full? No, I just think I don't have enough room for the rest of the stuff. Doing all that crazy mining with the mining beam. Why would you want to do something like that when you got a positron injector in your ship? Now if I can leave. Cool. Oh, what's up, Turbo Life? How you doing, bud? 
My parent is 100% going to be the death of me many times. I don't think so. so probably just because I'm pretty popular. New look. Oh, cool, cool. I can't pause the game. Go to the settings menu. Uh, do I know you? I just spoke with my buddy about this game last night. He's waiting on his Oculus too. Nice, nice. Settings menu is a pause and flat screen multiplayer users. Oh, no. PS4 PC to PC issue where a PS4 can join PC users regardless of what the settings the PC user really I did not know that I hope they fix that you won't about lack of pause just more curious if that in the case you can basically activate only in-game stuff like setting moving in between your playstations gotcha gotcha sometimes small world nice nice what is up turbo life how you doing bud I've had a PC join me, it's the same issue. I play with MP all the whole time, but blah, blah, and shouldn't have joined, really? Huh. What is up, Airsoft? How you doing? Welcome to it. Fortunately, Lava and Junk are top notch, so there's no issues. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least the damage is off on multiplayer. Hopefully, that, hopefully that's true. <laughs> it's not. It don't mess up. All right, cool. So we got a, almost a stack of uh, ferrite dust off of that. So, holy smokes! Look at all the pugnium. Oh my! Oof. All right, I need to sell that silver next time. I'm, I need to sell a bunch of this junk out, guys. Holy smokes! Let's do that when we uh, get there. So we make two hermetic seals. Nice. We only need one, but I'm planning on doing this again. What is up, Tragos? How you doing, bud? Oh, good to hear, Turbo. Heck yeah, dude. All right, let's get this done, guys. All right, repair, repair. Repair, I need a hydrogen jelly. There we go, cool. And done, and now let's grab the uh, shields, because I don't want to hear that beeping all the way to the space station. Cool, let's go sell this thing, see what I got. It's Thanksgiving here, so I'm happy. Go make dinner. Y'all have a great night. Awesome, Nathan. Heck yeah. Well, listen, have a wonderful one. We'll see you on the next stream, bud. And thank you for coming over with the raid. Mining class of starship would be interesting. Mine a crap ton. Crap no more from asteroids and planets. Yeah. Control kill. Trick sword. Yeah, I heard. I heard. That sucks, too. Played in a while, switched on kick, you play then, poking the bear. <laughs> As I was saying, inventory capacity compared to mine, even after a while, I need to try to prioritize better. <laughs> nice. Uh, hollered. Uh, hollered, does that, does that, doesn't it? Oh, good. Got them watching the movie with the kids. Nice, dude, nice. Got one game settings are across the account. It's for save. I'll turn it around. I'll crumble with damage only. Oh, brutal, dude. Brutal. I'll be honest with you, man. I don't get very far in a permanent save before changing that setting. Or at least even checking it, making sure it's off. What is this? Dyson Lens. What do we do here? Do we interact with it or is it just something cool to look at? Nope, it's just taking damage. Well, that's awesome. That is pretty cool. <laughs> hear that cheesecake left. <laughs> uh, they're not per se. What is up, Kendall Southwick? How you doing? Welcome to it. Man, really? I ain't got time for all this stuff. I gotta sell this ship. There's a difference when you first start. What? Oh, I'm out of a... Uh... How'd he pull me out of... Oh, okay, because I got to the station. Okay. I was wondering how in the heck this guy pulled me out of a uh, pulse. I was about to get a little mad and start shooting. Communicate with it. Oh, crap. Cool look. It looks like. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe shoot it. 
your caps lock, no worries, dude. <laughs> oh, I I paid no attention if I had a communication thing. Sorry, guys. I, I was focused on getting this ship scrap. I need to sell this stuff out of my inventory before I do that, though. Oh, it teaches you where. Oh, cool. Good to know. Thank you, uh, Commander Argo. Heck yeah, dude. Good to know. We'll we'll remember that next time. Sell items. All right, so I'm gonna keep. You know what? Sell it. Sell it all. Sell it all. It's gotta go. Fire sale. It's gotta go. Get rid of that. Get rid of those. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's get rid of that. 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 Those. That. Get rid of that. All right, now let's move all that extra stuff like silver and whatnot over to the starship. Like right here, I got extra silver. Send it to the uh, starship. All right, let's see. Sodium's full, send it to the starship. That's full, send it to the starship. Magnetize, send it to the starship. Cool, 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 cool. Let's keep the podium because I can use that later. Cool. All right, now let's uh, sail from the ship. Cool. Nice. That put me up to 18,000. That's 18 million. That's not bad. I'm a hoarder in No Man's Sky. That's another issue. Yeah. Yeah. Hoarding is a uh, hoard is my guilty. Guilty. Uh, I'm guilty of that quite a bit. All right. Cool. Let's get that caught back up. Thank you. What's up, Dimash Smash? How you doing, bud? Hey, whoever was asking about VR, check out Dimash Smash's channel. If I got a mod that can grab his link and drop it in the chat. He does a lot of No Man's Sky in VR. So definitely check him out, guys. Check him out. Another awesome, awesome community member and content creator. All right, let's do this thing. What did I end up with? That's uh, not too bad. I got some C-Class mod. You know what? I need to put that in... Which starship did it give me? Give me the um, it give me the radiant pillar again, didn't it? It did. Okay. Let's go put that in exosuit. That in exosuit. That in exosuit. Okay. I will save these. Alright, cool. So now I can sell the modules from out of here. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Freight hunting is groundhog day. Oh no, dude. Pancakes to portable food. You can wrap anything in a pancake and eat. Heck yeah, Commander. Heck yeah. Thing goes dark. Oh no, Silver Brutal. What happened? 11 B class freighters in a row. Oh no, that sucked, KJ. Thanks, dude. I'll have a stream in VR later tonight. Nice, nice. VR it makes me ill, so I watch people instead. We'll probably check this guy. Heck yeah, check him out. Um, yeah, if somebody's got the link to Dimash, uh, drop him in the chat for me, please, guys. I I haven't got. Forgive me, everybody. I haven't gotten the um, uh, all the channel links keyed into uh, uh, Streamlabs yet. That is something. That's something I've been meaning to do, but like, man. It, stuff comes up a lot. <laughs> it, it cuts into my actual get to play video games time. <laughs> and we can't have that. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's sell this stuff to your death site. Let's go and get rid of the Herox as well. Mm, I shouldn't throw all that chromatic metal in here. Dog on it. Eh, or the gold. Dog on it. I did get us I did get augmentation. We'll be applying that one here in a second. I am super happy about that because that's what I was looking for. An augmentation module uh, saves me 19 million units, guys. My next slot on that Explorer is 19 million, so. We got back. Trampoline pad is trying to fly. Oh no, dude. Heck yeah. Go tack that thing down, bud. There we go. Thank you, Matt Barrett. Awesome job, bud. Awesome job. Yeah, check out Dimash Smash. The link is in the description in the chat there. Check him out, guys. 
I'll be here streaming. You know me, be noobing it out. All y'all guys got to do is click that link, hit subscribe. Make sure you ring that notification bell and bounce right back here. We're not going anywhere. We're we're in it for at least another hour. Sort of have all the channels on Notepad document. I, uh, Richard Huntington sent me a really, really good um, list of the streamers, Mary. I appreciate the offer, but I got everybody covered. It's just actually clicking and entering is the hard part. Thank you, KJPC Gaming. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Oh, you're fine, KJ. No worries, dear. Cool, cool. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully in the next week or so, I have everybody entered into the uh, stream labs, and we can uh, we'll just have a uh, apostrophe add to them. Have Richards plus some sort. All right, hey, if you want to uh, link it uh, or just copy paste it in a DM to me, uh, Mary, I appreciate. It. I don't think I have. Uh, last time I tried using Google Document, it wasn't very. It didn't work very well. But if you want to copy the data, I'll put on and paste it and send it to me in a DM. I appreciate it. I'll just copy paste it over onto my notepad. Thank you, thank you. Heck yeah, guys. Awesome sauce, guys. All right, what do we got here? We have an explorer. What do we got? It is a B class. Nice. Melissa Secret thought it sounded stalkery. I hear you, man, jealous. <laughs> I love it. Uh, started this morning not knowing what stuff to try. Watch today. Now I have two different channels to check out, plus this stream. Nice, dude. Nice, nice. Oh, cool. We got combat scope. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and fix this thing. Uh, I sold my hermetic seal, didn't I? I did. All right, let's craft a new one and craft the hydrogen jelly. Cool. Let's do this thing. Well, my first craft ship find was a A-class, I believe. Oh, nice. A-class hauler. Sweet, dude. I'm going to tell you what, man. Oh, dude. My original PS4 save, the Artemis craft ship, was a 48 slot S class holler, dude. I'm gonna tell you what, man. I, I was I was excited about that. Right, let's go ahead and squash that part. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Oof. And now you'll see why I don't like these ugly ugly explorers like this. Well, I should call them ugly. Just uh, not uh, my style. What's up, Michael? How you doing, bud? It's got Tie Fighter wings. Yeah, but it's got the um, um, high cockpit. I don't like it. Intricate Anomaly, how you doing, dude? Everyone, hope y'all doing well. Just about to go to sleep, guys. Not nice. All right, Intricate, have a great night. Thank you for popping in. Guys, check out that Intricate Anomaly as well. I believe that is Boyd Gaming. Yeah, I believe so. I don't think I missed too many, too many memos, but heck yeah. Check out that channel. Awesome, awesome builder. ever leaves me a busted shop trial. I know, right, Sean? He's done that since uh, since uh, next. 
I have not gotten any good ships from uh, from Artemis. Up a sweet fan wing holler with wings tilted forward, so it looks like it's pushing itself forward with the fans. Nice aqua puppy, heck yeah. Dip less must be more common now, but from Origins, I never found one myself since Origins. I found seven, so nice, Dark Lord. Heck yeah, dude. Awesome sauce, man. Hundred thousand. That's kind of cheap. Hopefully, it gives me a. a, a, a uh, what do you call it? A nope. Did not. Thought it might give me a storage augment. All right, let's go sell. Heck yeah, dude! Good job on the diplos, man. I haven't. I haven't seen a diplo in a hot minute. Not, not on my own. I mean, on a planet I was discovering. I've been to a lot of locations looking for other things to seem to download, but I don't consider mine. I don't consider them me discovering because they were there when I was coming to look for a multi-tool or a ship or something. Shipwreck, oh god. That won't make it too easy now, man. Come on. Mark of Rose Glass, planets like trash. And it's, it, they look like trash. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, landfills, but no, not. Oh, nice, John. Heck yeah, dude. That's what you call range right there. <laughs> Killed them before I even got a shot off. Well, one of them anyway. Starship Graveyard? Heck yeah. Awesome sauce, man. Okay, well, my first archive building today since Hello Games is coming around with Mega Structure. Yeah, I see it really cool. Uh, I think it was a Viking system. Really cool uh, archive build today. It was huge. Actually, it was in the system of that Explorer that I showed you guys earlier. So my first day with Captain Steve, Road 1 and VR, all through caves and stuff. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Cool. Let's go ahead and move that to the uh, starship. Alright, now let's go find some more waypoints, guys. So we started out looking for manufacturing facilities and didn't find a thing. We ain't found a one yet. We found a lot of two crash ships and some cool stuff. I tell you what, I think I'm gonna land and grab my explorer and jump to another system and try to get one that has a uh, real flat terrain planet as the first planet in the system 
so the trip to the uh, trip to the uh, space station is much shorter, so we're not wasting a whole lot of travel time. This is not a bad planet for waypoints, but it's the one of the furthest uh, planets out from the space station, so it takes a lot of time to travel. So we're gonna call in the uh, call in the explorer guys. Go stretch our legs a little bit. Cool, cool, man. Alright, let's look for another high economy. Let's bust out of this region. I kind of like having a lower warp, warp range because you kind of focus your your warps. You don't get too far out in left field. Horizon Zero Dawn is amazing. Have fun, dude. Heck yeah. Gonna be taking a break tonight playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Heck yeah. Awesome sauce, John. Well, you know, it's not culture virtual. It's just a uh, preference. Uh, it's just a preference, Michael. Not, not everybody likes these uh, really, really cool, uh, really, really cool starships like I fly. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I didn't have, have my camera on so y'all couldn't see me uh, smirking when I say that. Alright, let's go that one. Oh man. I mean it teaches I would I will, I will not fly a uh, I will not fly a uh, asymmetrical Let's see if YouTube's working tonight or restream. Hold on a second. Let me uh pop that back up and see if it's working. Yeah, it's working cool. Nice, nice. Thank you, Wolfie. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> we found we found a quagmire planet on stream last night, guys. If, if online services were working, I'd have named it Giggity. But, you know, reasons. All right, south, and we're already on a line of selenium. So let's roll with it. Oh, here we go. Looky here. Looky here. Wanted a manufacturing facility, and there is one provided. Thank you, Sean. All right, let's go for the gusto. Let's pick up some pugnium while we're at it. Where's them drones at? Where's them drones at? There they are. Get out of the ground, please. Thank you. Where did that other drone go? There he is. Nice. Good ammunition. Did I give him Pugnium? I guess not. There it goes. I got a little bit of Pugnium for my effort. You ever paint that shit mod you have? No, dude. It had an accident. I got... Basically, I got to glue it back together. I had it sitting, I had it sitting on my Wi-Fi router on top of my mini fridge. And when I, when I changed out my, um, my power supply, my backup power supply last night, um, I pulled the wrong cable and yanked my Wi-Fi router off the top of my mini fridge down back behind it. And it took the Explorer with it and broke all four wings or no three of the wings off of it so i gotta repair that but outside of that no i haven't touched it all 
am playing it also in advanced design, so it's fresh. Cool, cool. Sort of keep having a hard time finding manufacturing facilities also. I don't think they increase any of those buildings on each of the planets. I wish they did. They're there. You just got to get in the... There's certain systems will have them have more prevalent than others. Or the per planet. Yeah. The alarm locked the terminal. A message displays itself letter by letter on the screen. Interloper. That's the only word I got. The alarm shows no sign of stopping. I noticed the wall man a security scanner slowly turning towards me. Let's see. Ah, cool. Microprocessor. Apply an override circuit to the security relay. Remarkably, my ad hoc wiring seems to work. The alarm stopped and the terminal grants me full access. Nice. Normal operations have resumed and I have access to the facility's main control panel. I should be able to alter production to my own benefit. Let's learn a new recipe. See you, Christy. Have a great night, dear. Glad to have you and thank you for coming along. All right. Let's unlock some of these. Let's see, what do I need first? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and go with the uh, Atlas Passes so I can get to the uh, Hypercores. Hypercores is kind of priority for me. You need to get some metal plating. Your, your Starship had a crash line, I know, right? So let's head back to the... Was I going south or north? I think I was going south. Let's head back to the south. Whoa! That's uh, damage equipment. Okay. So, let's roll. If you fly to a decent height above the ground, you'll see all the selenium flowing. Or cactus flesh, whichever one, uh, whichever type of planet you're on. You just drop a few drop a scan every, every uh, as often as you can and look for the waypoints. Now this one has an ocean on it so it may not uh, it's best to do this with planets that have no oceans because the oceans will ooh nice. I like that meteor crash in the corner there. They will skew some of the ley line uh, buildings. I think we're getting away from some of the water so it may uh may come back a little bit more prevalent. Yeah, just keep following that selenium in the southern direction. And we will find all kinds of cool waypoints. Couldn't tell what it was from a distance. I had to check it out. Cool. cool. See you, Christy. Have a good one. Atlas Pass. <laughs> Multi Pass. Multi Pass. And what we got here? Transmission Tower. Let's go check it. See what kind of goodies we can find. What is up, Catherine Hubbard? How you doing? Welcome to it. Smiling that ship again. Millennium Falcon can eat its heart out. That's right. Uh, the operation terminal reveals an automated plea for help. A clear platform, a pattern emerges with the white noise hissing from the screen. If I can work out what comes next, I can potentially lock down the distress craft location. 2345-89177. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. It's 23 times 2 minus 1. It is 45 times 2 minus 1. 89 minus, or times 2 minus 1, so it'll be 177. I'm thinking it's 353, but I'm going to run it through the calculator first. So we have 177 times 2 equals 354 minus 1 would be 353. Love some algebra, guys. Hey, listen. Next 
kids, kids, if you watch this, if you're in school and your math teacher is trying to teach you a really difficult algebra equation and you're like, I will never use this in real life, just remember, algebra will make you better at video games. What we end up with? Was that a uh, cool stress beacon? Let's go. Asymmetrical ship, I hear you. Let me grab these nanites. Dude, I'm telling you what, man. That new ship, that new uh, concept ship I'm waiting on to release over in Star Citizen is. Man, that puts me in mind of the Millennium Falcon. It's got an offset uh, cockpit. But it's not so far offset that it looks bad. It is a uh, pretty, pretty sick. Come on, CIG, let it rip, let it rip. Alright, so let's go searching on the way here. Ooh, we're not going to go that far. We're going to look at a couple waypoints on the way, but we're not going to go the whole 21 minutes. That is a, a bit too far for me to, to, to search with. Algebra for the win. That's right, Turbo Life. <laughs> this isn't real life, it's a simulation. I know, dude, I know. So if you ever get trapped in a simulation, Algebra will help you, sa help you save the day, man. Just keep that in mind, kids. Math is important. Well, to be fair, this whole game is math. And, uh, man. Just think, if it weren't for, if it weren't for algebra and equations and, and cal calculus and uh, trigonometry and stuff like that, they would be no no man's sky. Put, put that one in the oven and let it cook a little bit. I hate maths. <laughs> I love math, man. Math is hard when it's boring, it's easy when it's practical school to do something you're already interested in. True. Is this real life or is this just a fantasy? <laughs> oh man, I don't even know if I can attempt to sing that. Me something good. He is a tier two fighter. That explains why I suck at video games. I suck at math. Oh no! Ah, we have a B class. I'll take it. It's worth a scrap. It's worth a scrap. Calculus for the tag. <gasps> nice S class module, sweet. Sing it, heck no, man. I ain't kidding you. I, I don't. I don't want to run subscribers away, man. Oh, I need to uh, claim it before I repair it. 
I, I'm not, I'm not blessed with a, what? Come on, man. I am not blessed with a, a decent voice like most people. Muppets to sing Bohemian Rhapsody on another tab. Oh no! <laughs> I love it! Oh man, just slide down the slope, run over the rise. Sword, sing, sing us a few lines. Man, I might have to drop the camera. You know what? See how hard I have to try to sound like as bad as I do. Uh, I'm out of here if he starts singing. I hear you, Tragos. Oh, man. Brutal, brutal. I appreciate that vote of confidence, man. I always count on you to tell me how it is. <laughs> Nah, I gotta be driving to sing. That's that's my problem. I have to be driving a car to sing now. Driving down the highway, the windows up. Oh yeah, I'll bail them out with the best of them. Open your eyes and calculate pie. <laughs> nice, nice. Heck yeah, that was a lot of goodies right there. Shoot, that put me up to 23. Nice. Set the station box. Nothing good. I tell you, one of the best renditions of Bohemian Rhapsody outside of the original um, was a um, is a it's a group called Pentatonics. They um, they do a cappella. They did an amazing job of that song on a YouTube video. Cool. Kind of augmentation. Cool. Let's plus that geo. Let's see what we got a bit. Activated copper. I need to sell. I sing so badly. I can't even sing in the car. Completely embarrass myself. Oh God. <laughs> Oh man, brutal. So you think you can stop me and calculate pie? We have moved on to the heavy part. Oh no. Pentatonics are made. Heck yeah. KJ knows what it's about. Miss Sword is in. Maybe she can see. Dude, I'm going to tell you what. Good luck. She won't even sing for me. She, I ain't kidding you. I, me and her have some really, really good arguments about this because she used to sing. Like, really good. And she just does not do it anymore. No Whoa. Okay. Pump. Take a pop shot at me like that. Die, pirate scum. Die. Alright, let's go check out the overgrown overgrown aggressive sentinel planet. Uh the Pentatonix Home Free. I have not heard Home Free. I'll have to check it out. Atlas, 
Uh, it is the purge section of the Artemis mission. Uh, Mary Lizzie. Look at the pretty dragons. Dude, if this was an aggressive sentence, it'd be a nice little plant to walk around him. I like it. I like it a lot. Crush my dreams of becoming a singer. I wake up tomorrow and lose like 500 subscribers. You know, the video would have like 300 dislikes. Yeah, that, in case you're wondering, that's why I don't sing. It's bad. It's bad to the point of offensive. eventually will. Generally, once I get established, they start leaving me alone. They're like, yep, yeah, it's sore. Never mind. Just gonna pick on somebody easier. Nice, here we go. Nice, nice. Doors on that side. And you won't get to hit it from that side, okay? I think it's on board for being confused. <laughs> After printing out its status update, Terminal presents the option to override either alert. From the holographic display, the warnings appear to relate to damaged components within the facility and the presence of an interloper. Oh, friend. Nice. Can't believe I got that. That was a complete guess, guys. Learn new recipe. Cool, let's get this Atlas 3 and the uh, Hyper Core. Nice. Good to go. Moving on. Next. This is extreme simple. Let's roll. Not a bad looking planet. Probably wouldn't make the top 10 list, but a bad looking planet. Alright, moving on. South we go. A little bit faster. 
astral shift. blueprint before we shut her down tonight. I'm not gonna be able to stream as late as usual on Sunday I gotta Oh let's go check the crash ship. I got a uh, busy morning and I gotta get some a project done over in uh over on the other game. Let's see what we get this time. Ooh, nice Viking hanging out here. Fill the bowl. No worries, bud. Have a great night. Sleep well, my friend. The sequence of numbers has been repeating itself for as long as there is imprint is burnt in the screen. The input box flashes at me ins insistently. If I crack the code, I can find the ship. All right, 9992 That was 77 last time we did. I like it. Probably crash freighter. Nice, nice. Guys, great job on the 60 likes. I do appreciate that. That helps offset all the uh, haters that uh, like leaving the dislikes. So. Very, very much appreciate it when y'all guys get the like button. Right, where are we going? This is two minutes away, nice. Rolling on. See you, Dimash. Have a good one, buddy. Always a good idea to pulse out of atmosphere and go to these waypoints, especially when they're so close. Is a lot of times they'll run you over other waypoint waypoints that are uh, super useful. Right here we got another transmission tower. See you, Wolfie. Sleep well, dear. Thanks for hanging out. Much appreciated. crash ship and go scrap it and we'll probably wrap it there guys. Uh, what do we got here? And the operation there we got another transmission tower right here. Sweet. A bad little ley line here. Come on, show me something good. Oh, crud. It's an explorer. Let's see what we got over here real quick. Let's go do this. Boy, landing on that waypoint. Awesome, Wolfie. Heck yeah, dear. Right, I'm going to give me some nicotine and check his multi tool. Run my run. Go get this crash shit and go scrap him. Alright, let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? And then I 
this out back. Oh, he's going to see me. He's going to see me. He saw me. Thing he can't hit. Like a stormtrooper, man. B classes. Mm, yeah, I know, right? What's up, Duck Master? How you doing? What is up, Ariel Hoshana? How you doing, dear? I had to fix my CV axle on the road. I'm glad I swore there was one. Oh, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you got it fixed. back for all the S-Class luck I've had. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> Slobs, are you there? <laughs> I got 22 million like that. Oh, cool. All right. Let's 
safe. favorite devil exotic spawn be no more yeah it sucks man it really sucks all right let's go to desktop and i'm sure switch over to the wrong button why in the world i gotta fix that it it, it i had it uh hid until i switched to that scene and it just automatically grabs it i gotta remember which setting it is to fix that let's put some beats on let's put some rave music on guys All right, so we're against the ground for ship slots is back on. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna keep. I, I think that's what I may start doing when I start hopping systems, is go check out, uh, do a couple reloads at each system, and see if there is any. Um, see if there's any. Uh, buh, 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 double or first wave exotics. All right, guess who is live? I don't think I've ever rated him. I don't think many of you guys are subscribed to him, but he is an awesome dude, a member of the Amino Hub, and one of my earliest mentors when it comes to permadeath and playing No Man's Sky, guys. It is the one, the only Alexi check. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's dive over here in this stream. Let's pause it before he gets me copyright strike for his music. <laughs> All right, copy that and drop it in the chat, guys. Name control B, nice and enter. All right, guys, it went out to uh, Twitch YouTube and Periscope. Nice. Thank you, KJ. Awesome sauce. All right, guys, listen. We're going to do a sword raid. There is uh, 65 people still on YouTube, and we have four people watching over on Twitch. Guys, do yourself an amazing favor. Do yourself a favor, guys, and go click that link and let's come on over here for this raid. Okay, guys? Because Alex Check's awesome, dude. One of the first people to make it. Well, actually, the first person to make it through all 255 galaxies. Back to Euclid. On permadeath, baby. On permadeath. He is the permadeath king, guys. An amazing explorer. An amazing iteration and travel so guys go show this channel some love let's come on over here with the with the uh <laughs> let's say Zayn, right? with the sword raid guys <coughs> hashtag sword raid in the chat i will see you all over at alexi check stream guys have a most wonderful night and we'll see you on the next stream